Okay, this is a recording of a visual summary of Paul, Spirit and Community by the Pentecostal theologian Gordon Fee, a wonderful book that uh, highlights the theology of the Spirit developed in Paul. On a number of pages, uh, Gordon Fee shares that the Spirit is the key to understanding the New Covenant. In the Old Testament, the Spirit dwelt in the tabernacle and the presence of God was with them, God was present through the Spirit on one certain location. In the New Testament, the story changes in, into a covenant of fulfillment marked as the age of the Spirit. And the church is called as the temple, the place where the Spirit dwells, the local community uh, as a temple uh, of hosting the presence of God. So the Spirit is really key to understanding the New Covenant and living the New Covenant. And he unfolds that over the next couple pages. And um, very important to understand the Trinity. So this little symbol here is the uh, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, three in one. And the Spirit is basically God in action. It's how God acts in our day and age. And the Spirit reveals the mind of God. So it is the very essence and thoughts of God that, that uh, come with the Spirit, that the Spirit reveals. Um, the Trinity and the Spirit show that God is really interested in relationship. He's, he's in relation amongst himself. And the Spirit reaches out to humans in all creation to draw them into relationship. And it is the ground for unity as well as diversity. So whenever you see the Spirit in the New Testament, the list of the Spirit, there's various gifts. So there's diversity, but they're all one, and they're all one under this new Godhead. So unity and diversity in this person of the Spirit that acts, that washes, that cleanses, that directs, so um, that's active in human history. Eschatology is the key to understanding the Spirit. So Gordon Fee was asked if he would return now as an aged professor back into the beginning of his ministry, what's this one single thing he would do? He would teach eschatology. Eschatology is the teaching of the end of the ages. And you see here a time strip and there's a age to come that's expected that's overlapping with our current age. And this overlapping of the current ages, the now and not yet, is the time uh, that we're living in right now, the time that started at Jesus' birth and then will be consumed at Jesus' second coming. And this is marked as the age of the Spirit. And um, <clears throat> Christians and, and people are called into being the community of the future as a corporate body. We're called to live this uh, presence of the future now in our day of age um, as the people of the Spirit. We are called into a family, and family not just because of our heritage or our ethnicity or our commonality of, of convictions. We're called as family by the work of the Spirit. We're the, the Spirit's family in this day and age. We're Christ's very own body, an image that comes in Paul again and again, that we have different members, but we all belong together. And as a community of the future, we are the temple where God dwells in his, in him, himself. And as this, we're called for um, uh, to worship him, to proclaim his name, and we live for his name. And we are called not just to be a tribal people that looks after itself, but we are called to mission to look after the world. And this is because we are living as the presence of the future, eschatology, and uh, we are um, embodying God's new presence in our current day and age. So what does the Spirit do? He's, he's active in us coming to faith, in our believing. So he's there in the proclamation of the, uh, of the gospel. So when we speak the name of Jesus, we explain his history and his significance. This is done in the power um, of the Spirit. We hear by the power of the Spirit, uh, not just with human ears, but the Spirit empowers us to li li listen and hear on a deeper level. We are reborn by the Spirit's very own making, and we are indwelt uh, by the Spirit as we believe. And then all revelation, so all seeing, is done by, by the Spirit opening our eyes. So, so the beginning of our faith is marked as the Spirit's activity. Then the growing of our faith is also marked by the Spirit's um, activity. So as disciples, as, as people of faith, we are marked by the Spirit. We, are, we have a new identity that's working itself out in our being. We are empowered to walk 
uh, to walk our walk uh, by the Spirit, daily guidance, daily encouragement and strength that we get from Him to, to mark our whole life according to Him. And then the Spirit empowers us to live a life of love that's outside focused and uh, that's a new kind of ethic, not just a behaving, but an empowerment and a yearning to bless others and to live this new righteousness that we have on the inside into our whole life. So the Spirit is there not only in the believing, but also in our growing and maturing as, as believers. And finally, the Spirit is there as our ambition and our target. Uh, the Spirit embodies this new life, the ninefold fruit of the Spirit, such as patience, kindness, um, uh, joy. All these things are the, the fruits of the Spirit. They grow out of being being rooted and embodied by the Spirit. And then uh, this marks the life of the individuals as well as the life of the church. Uh, we not, must not be naive. There's a war going on, the war between the Spirit and the flesh. The, the, the flesh focuses on self. It's mark the mark of the old age. It's um, marked by the lust for power and just being self-centered. In some sense, you're helpless and not empowered to live life. You're sinful, you're missing the mark, and you don't have what it takes, and you always fall back on this default position, looking out only for yourself. The, the life of the Spirit, on the other hand, is the life of the new age. It's looking outward, not just inward. It's marked by love, and we are um, fulfilling our calling to live as the image of God. It's the Christ law in us. We're empowered. And it works itself from the inside out. And this war is real. And that's why seeking the Spirit and praying to the Spirit uh, is, is important for our life as Christians. Finally, it's important to understand that uh, Paul again and again highlights this, this uh, concept of weakness in our life and, and walk with God. That in our weakness, we are conformed to Christ. We somehow live the life of Christ in this age. And it's not so, just something that happens because some days are bad, but it's the, the Spirit being with us and being very much present in this weakness and enabling a resurrection life and a transformation to happen uh, in these times of weakness. Prayer is important as we worship. The Spirit is present and guides us, lifts our eyes and, and proclaims Jesus in our midst. The gifts of the Spirit are present in us and, and within prayer reveal God to us and reveal wisdom. And uh, prayer and the Spirit are there to guide us into the Word. So it's not just empty words we read, but actually nourishment for our soul and guidance for our inner being. So how do we do this? It's important that leaders, leaders teach eschatology, the coming of the age, so that we understand the importance of the, of the work of the Spirit and its role in our day and age. It's important that we test and practice that. We set up environments where we where we uh, wait on the Spirit, where we follow the guidance of the Spirit, and we, where we become familiar um, with the working of the Spirit in each other and, and expose the gifts that are there in the body. And finally, it's important to hunger and thirst for Him to cultivate this yearning uh, to seek the Spirit. And finally, we need to come before God with openness, with open hands, and less planning, less strategy, and more exposure and na naked faith. All this wraps up the theology of um, of Paul, as as exposed by Gordon Fee, that he, Paul shares on the Holy Spirit and the centrality of the Spirit in our age. So, a few pictures to explain this. This is all part of a series. Here's um, my book on N.T. Wright and his theology called The Marriage of Heaven and Earth. Please check it out on Amazon or other sources and enjoy. Thank you very much. Yeah.